And now a story from Jammu and Kashmir, a story of India reclaiming its heritage and traditions. India lost a lot during the partition. Today we'll talk about what the native residents of Kashmir, the Kashmiri pundits lost. They lost the Sharda Shakti Peet, which now lies in ruins in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. This was once a magnificent site of worship and learning. And this wasn't just a loss for Kashmiri pundits. This was a big loss for India's civilization. The pundits have had a long-standing demand. They've been asking for access to the Sharda Peet in POK. Repeated requests have fallen on deaf ears. But now there's a glimmer of hope. The government of India is looking to open a Kartarpur-like corridor to connect the Sharda Peet in POK with Kashmir. But this comes with a host of challenges. Also an opportunity for both India and Pakistan. Our next report tells you more. This is the Sharda Shakti Peet, a 5,000-year-old temple, one of the most important sites of pilgrimage for Kashmiri pundits. Today, it lies in ruins, barely 10 kilometers from the line of control between India and Pakistan. Until 1947, an annual pilgrimage was organized to the temple. Then, partition happened. Indians lost access to this seat of knowledge, and no earnest attempt was made to revive the pilgrimage. All of that may change now. This week, a temple dedicated to the goddess Sharda was inaugurated by India's Home Minister Amit Shah. It's located on the banks of the Kishan Ganga River in Kashmir's Kupwara district. India is also working on a pilgrimage corridor, one that connects Indian Kashmir with Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. The Home Minister said the government is committed to this and that the new temple is the beginning of an era, a step towards the rediscovery of the Sharda civilization and the Sharda script. The temple in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir is dedicated to the goddess Saraswati, the Hindu goddess of learning and knowledge. Near the temple are the ruins of one of the world's oldest universities. They're believed to have had their own script called Sharda, more than 5,000 scholars, and the biggest library of their times. It ranked among ancient learning centers like Takshila and Nalanda. And now, some of its lost glory may be revived. India is planning to build a passage along the lines of the Kartarpur Corridor. The Kartarpur Corridor connects Gurdwara Dera Baba Nanak in India to Gurdwara Darbar Sahib in Pakistan. It was the final resting place of Guru Nanak, the founder of the Sikh. These two centers of pilgrimage in India and Pakistan are linked by a corridor. Devotees no longer have to apply for a visa to visit the shrine in Pakistan. New Delhi wants a similar corridor for Sharda Peet in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir. This has been a long-standing demand of Kashmiri pundits. As of today, visitors and pilgrims need an NOC or No Objection Certificate. And even that is no guarantee of access. Many devotees are routinely turned away by the Pakistani side. A corridor would help, but building it won't be easy. It will involve engaging with Pakistan. And while Kartarpur was in Punjab, this is Kashmir we're talking about. The line of control in Kashmir tends to be volatile. And unlike Kartarpur Sahib, which is just about 4.7 kilometers from the border, the Sharda Peet is 10 kilometers away from the LOC. So a corridor linking Sharda Peet with Indian Kashmir will require double the manning that the Kartarpur corridor does. Also, Pakistan is unlikely to agree to such a corridor without getting something in return. If you didn't already know, only Indian devotees can travel to Gurdwara Darbar Sahib in Pakistan without a visa. The corridor does not allow Pakistanis to travel to Dera Baba Nanak in India. With Sharda Peet, Pakistan is likely to push for its own citizens to be allowed entry into India to visit the Hazrat Bal Shrine in Srinagar. An influx of Pakistani tourists could pose a major security risk for India. So, a lot depends on whether India can clinch a Kartarpur-like deal with Pakistan.